best video because it's got a certain immediateness to it. And also because it's not necessarily cinema, because it's not film. Because you knew by looking at it, you weren't being fed a fan someone else's fantasy. But not that you aren't anyway, but <laughs> you know, you're not seduced by the softness and allure of film. But now, due to the nature of the cameras that we have access to, I think that the, the way video looks now isn't that different than the way film looks. So I try to compensate by not having scripts, by still staying in reality. That's what I'm attracted to, is trying to stay in reality while you know, sending out feelers <laughs> into symbolic realms, not produced realms. And I think the thing with installations that, that is that you experience them more than you watch them. And that's the area that I like to needle around in, you know. Bonkers Devotional is a culmination of everything that I've been questioning through the work since the beginning, which is how do you figure out who and what the self is? Um, what is the psychology of the self? Where does being end and performing begin? And comedy. I, I love comedy because it's actually linked to psychology. And that they're both rooted in the unconscious. You know, the unconscious is driving the show. The other thing I like about comedy is, this is something that I read, was that some things just can't be reconciled with anything other than comedy or faith. And I think that's true, and I think that's probably why I called this project the Bonkers Devotional, as I use the devotional to um, acknowledge how scary and how serious the thing was, and also maybe the sacredness of trust, and trust of the other, and more importantly, trust of the self. Um, and I call the project a, a radical a leap of radical trust. The whole thing was just an exercise in radical trust. I was literally in a cabin with a hungry bear. <laughs> and he made it clear in about the first three seconds he wasn't a symbol. And that's why the whole thing worked. Because it was scary. It was funny. Not that I was laughing. <laughs> But in retrospect, it was, it's funny. We're doing things that just, um, it's funny because of the unconscious um, implications of it. But yeah, how was it? It was scary and it was funny. And I found out that fear does a number on your body. Being in that cabin with him, bonkers, you know, you have to, Try and, try and pretend like you're not scared, <laughs> as if you didn't know. The bear knew and I knew. The first time I went to the cabin, there's, let's just say there's a lot of chaos. So I was allowed to come back a second time, but the second time they had a party for him and he had eaten a lot of cake. So he didn't want to work. So that's when he just lay like that. He just... He's not working, so um, he wasn't following his training commands, and neither was I. Neither was I. You know, because we're just two trained beings without a script, you know. He was tired and I was scared.
Good. Now look here. Good. Good stay. Good stay. Look here. You want to look right here. Good. Look up here. Good. Look right here. Look. Cool. Good head down. Gentle head down. Good. Stay. I'm going to get you. You're in trouble now, Bumper. I'm going to get you. Whee! <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to get you again. Stay. Look back. Can you? Ha, 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 ha.